Hey guys, welcome back to the Dally Edit and if you are new then welcome. Uh, today I am filming this video based on a lot of requests I've had mainly from my Instagram followers so I would like to share with you my personal experiences with pregnancy. Pre-pregnancy, post-pregnancy, during pregnancy, everything pregnancy. Um, I'm just going to answer not every single one but a lot of them are quite similar so I'm going to try and cover every sort of question. They're going to be a bit all over the place. I mean. Ideally I was going to do my pre-pregnancy, then my during, then my post, but I'll just read them sort of as I see them. So the first one I'm going to answer is, what is your opinion on epidural, natural birth or c-section and which ones have you had? Well, my opinion on epidural, I cannot really have one because I've never had an epidural. Personally, I'm petrified of needles so I would rather push a baby out than have to look at a needle beforehand. So that is why I have not... Um, I never had an epidural. Um, natural birth, I I actually r weirdly like liked my natural births. Um, Freddie was natural, um, just on a standard bed with a bit of gas and earth. But for me, obviously, the afterbirth wasn't so good. And then again with Dexter, he, he was a water birth actually, but again natural in the water and gas and air. And I think that was my probably my favourite one, apart from again afterwards. So obviously with Pixie, I had a C-section uh, just to reduce the risk of blood loss, which it massively did. So C-section actually works really well for me. I mean, if you could, I'd say go with the natural birth because it's something that I feel like we're lucky to be able to experience if you get the chance to be able to do that. So for me, I would suggest natural birth, obviously complications happen and you have to go for other options. I kind of had an epidural of my c-section so I sort I kind of know what it feels like. I think it's actually something slightly different um, but it's a similar sort of injection and feeling. Um, yeah it was really weird but I can imagine it just being an absolute dream when you're given natural birth and you had an epidural that you just don't feel a thing but I like being in control of my body sort of thing and it was that was sort of a bit I didn't like yeah. How do you feel having put on weight during pregnancy? didn't know I had. Thanks. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, with Freddie, I actually didn't put on weight. Like, I was only like 19 and my body literally bounced back. Like, I was in my size 6 jeans less than a week later. Like, it was just great. Dexter took me a little bit longer. I had a little bit of puppy fat left over. Um, then I obviously got back into the gym and started to tone up again. And then I fell pregnant again. And now I'm just not really where I want to be with my body. But I've got three beautiful kids so yeah I mean it doesn't really bother me I know that if I work hard enough then I can get rid of my extra excess baby weight uh, but it's just a case of me being bothered to do it <laughs> but I am trying to go back to the gym and get back into shape and not just for my body weight but just for like just to get healthy again really because I have got really lazy actually um, since having Pixie. Uh, did you consider a home birth? Absolutely not. And that was because, with Freddie, I didn't because I was just young and I was like, just get me in the hospital, get it out and then I'll get home. I didn't really even think about it. Um, with Dexter, I had the worry in the back of my head that I would lose a lot of blood and I thought, I sort of instantly knew that the hospital would be the best place for me to be. And uh, also I hate blood and stuff, I just couldn't deal with all that in my house. And yeah, for me it's just a bit like, okay, I want to get out of my house get it all over and come home then I've got my nice clean tidy home the way I left it so uh yeah I didn't actually even consider a home birth no. <laughs> Out of all three children whose was the hardest labour? Um, it's hard really because I haven't actually had any particularly bad labours I mean they were all really quick and sort of over and done with. My waters didn't actually break with Freddie so sort of a bit of back and forth hospital go home now you're not ready and then it, then she sort of came really quick on my last time that I went to the hospital I think Freddie was probably my worst because I had no idea of what to expect but to be honest they weren't I can't tell you a horror story about my labour because it wasn't that bad Dex and my waters did break and I think that was probably the worst bit because I was literally like because it never happened to me before I just thought oh my waters did break Freddie they probably won't break but I literally sat up and I stood up out of bed in the morning and just gushing and I felt sick I was literally like Ugh. Alex is there going oh I've got time for a quick shower I'm like no we need to go to the hospital right now I didn't have a label of pixie but I did have the whole build up to it of 
I'm about to have a c-section and I have no idea what to expect even though everyone tells you this and that and that you still just think oh what what's going on um but yeah when did you start to get cravings and how hard were they to resist I didn't really get any cravings I don't think I, I've never had the thing where I feel like I need that I really need that I've sort of just eaten what I want when I want and it's just sort of there I didn't have anything weird because I'm quite a fussy eater anyway so I think Freddie and Dexter I ate a lot of fruit like melon strawberries apple um but I think that could be to do with them both being born in August so it was like through the summer and I found it really refreshing whereas Pixie I found myself eating a lot of like donuts and cakes and chocolate but she was like born in May so I had the whole winter bit pregnant um, on the run up to May obviously and I think that might have had something to do with it. None of this pickled eggs and crunching on ice stuff for me, just cake and fruit. Uh, I had quite a few questions asking me how does it feel to be pregnant? I don't know, I guess it's different for everyone. With Freddie I felt scared, with Dexter I felt excited, with Pixie I felt scared again because I was scared about my birth. It's just like a mixture of things really and it feels like physically like just weird the fact like sometimes you're laying in bed and you're just going to sleep and then all of a sudden my eyes will pop open and I'll be like I've got a baby growing inside me this is really weird like there's actually a human moving around inside my belly so lots of different feelings really I can't really say just how it feels to be pregnant because there are so many different feelings through pregnancy but magical and weird summed up I had a c-section three weeks ago do you have any tips on recovery to be honest I don't know I mean I, I've recovered pretty quickly like within I think about a week I was back up and sort of running obviously with a bit of pain here and there but luckily I was I had quite a fast c-section recovery I just hate just sitting around doing nothing I have to be doing stuff all the time so um I'm like getting the washing on when I can and I'm like oh I like leaning over the washing machine like just chucking it and like I need to get this done so I think just get up and move around as much as you can obviously be careful of your um, incision but I think the more active you are the, the faster your body gets back to normal but yeah just take it easy but move around as much as you can just try and like get out as much as you can try and spend as much time with your baby because I know after my c-section I felt for the first week like so helpless that I was just literally like I was getting depressed like I can't do anything and I'm so bored like I, I should be able to swing my baby around and rock her and pick her up and put her down and it was just like it was that first week was horrible and I just think as long as you've hopefully got someone to help you, you should be fine. Um, I've just found out that I'm pregnant. I'm 18. I'm so scared to tell my mum any advice. I like this question because I was the same when I was 18 and I just found out I was pregnant. And to be honest with you, just don't tell her. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, oh, yeah, my mum, when I told her I was pregnant with Freddie, was not very happy at all. So, I mean, I, I was nervous to tell my mum and I think I hid the pregnancy test under my pillow for about two days and I just thought, I've just got to tell her because this is weird. Like, I'm living in a house and I'm being sick and, yeah, it just wasn't actually, it was actually a really miserable time for me when I found out I was pregnant with Freddie because I was so scared about everyone else's opinions when I should have been focusing on myself, really, so... That is a thing, so I think, just tell her. I mean, she might not like it, she might not be happy with it, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a baby and your mum's gonna end up loving that baby, just like she loves you, so it will all work out fine, just tell her. Don't sugarcoat it, don't fret about it, just let it out, tell her as it is, and hopefully, hopefully, you're not gonna hate me after this. <laughs> when did you start feeling the baby move? I'm on my first child at 13 weeks. To be honest with you, I literally cannot remember. I know it gets sooner and sooner, like every baby. Like Dexter was earlier than Freddie and Fre uh, no, Pixie was earlier than Dexter, but yeah, I literally cannot remember. I think it was about 16 weeks with Freddie, but that is a rough guess, like, yeah, I think about 16 weeks. It was between 16 and 18, like, I can't remember, but I, I know Pixie was definitely the earliest mover because I remember having a long time of movement left in that pregnancy. <laughs> How has Dexter adapted to having a baby sister? Not great. <laughs> and it's not a jealousy thing, he's just, he just doesn't know really what she is I think. I think he's just sort of, he is getting better and he, he really does love her now, you can see that he really loves her but the thing is with Dexter he's so heavy handed it like freaks me out when he goes near her and 
he like he wants to lay with her and cuddle her but he literally lays on her and i can see her looking around like that and i'm like i'm trying to tell him to get off but he and i'm saying like be gentle and he's probably thinking well i am being gentle but yeah it is actually really hard work but he is really becoming more fond of her and i think the more active she gets and when she like starts moving around i think he's just gonna absolutely love it i think it's just while she's so still and can't really do anything it's just like what is she and why is she not moving but yeah hopefully he'll adapt a bit better within the coming months um what helped with morning sickness oh morning sickness i had it so bad with all of mine but definitely again pixie was the worst um, Dexter I thought it couldn't get any worse and then I had Pixie and it did get worse. If you find something that helps with morning sickness share it with the world because I couldn't find anything to help me with morning sickness or any advice on what helps or all the advice I did find was just standard on Google which didn't actually help but I think all I could say tips wise is if you fancy something eat it there and then because you might lose your appetite for another two days like just eat what you can when you can the feeling of sick i think is actually probably worse than being sick so i think i'm just like i was constantly just like trying to get rid of it like just get out even if you have like the smallest sip of water every half an hour i think just keep hydrated and it will really help um hopefully your morning sickness and i'm really sorry if you've got morning sickness because it's so horrible i thought so i thought this question and said why do you still look pregnant but it said why do you still look perfect while pregnant i was about to say thanks guys and then i'm like oh thanks that's actually really nice <laughs> i can't really answer that question it's so big-headed <laughs> but thank you so much that's such a nice comment stuff like that it does keep me going how did your parents react about your pregnancy with freddie i sort of already answered that earlier on but yeah not very good i mean my dad was a little bit shocked um well I actually was very shocked i think i t actually texted my dad saying i'm pregnant and then i turned my phone off for like two days um because i was scared of the reply but um yeah he did call my mum straight away and was like what's going on and then uh yeah he actually came to terms with it pretty quick my mum on the other hand was not very happy and didn't come to terms with it very quick at all the main thing is they are both happy now and they love their grandkids uh, any tips on trying to get pregnant just don't think about it like i was literally when i wanted to have dexter um and we were sort of trying for dexter and i was literally like Alex you must be infertile because this is just not happening I was getting really like obsessed with it like why is it not happening and I actually even got him to go into Boots and buy a test to like check your sperm count to make sure like he wasn't infertile and um it came back normal and after that I was like okay it's normal it's fine after that within about a week I just because I just I was so relaxed about it after that and I just thought okay there's nothing to worry about after about a week I was pregnant <laughs> so i think just relax the more you think about it and stress about it the less it's like i don't know what it's a really weird way of it working but i actually think it's the truth like i actually think that's how it works how long did it take you to recover every ache and pain from labor again i actually think i recovered faster from a c-section than i did the natural births i think because i lost so much blood and i was so run down and just had no energy um the natural labors actually took me longer to recover personally i think it was about two or three weeks with dexter that i was actually up and about like properly and feeling like a bit more myself again but i know with your second and so on child um you get these like contraction pains afterwards where your body i think it's just where your body's like getting back to normal your uterus is contracting still or something something like that but Oh, the pains, uh, I don't even know. I think they might even be worse than labour pains. Like, oh, I had these horrible pains after Dexter and I'd be laying in bed and I'd be like, I think there's another baby in there and it's coming out. Like, I literally felt like I was about to give birth again. That's how bad the pain was. But I think that was probably the worst part of the recovery. Obviously, with Pixie and the C-section, I had to actually inject my stomach every day to prevent blood clots, which I'm literally prone to, so I had to do it. Um... Oh, but that was horrible as well. So I think everyone's different, but two or three weeks I was like over it. <laughs> uh, did you get postnatal depression? Yes, I did have postnatal depression after I had Freddie, which obviously was horrible. It was just, I think it was just the whole thing of not having all my family around me through my pregnancy and then the build up and then she was born and then I sort of 
made up with my family and I think it was all like overwhelming. I think the whole, I know it's so normal to get postnatal and depression, but like, I think the whole thing was so overwhelming that when it all like died down and I got to normal life, I literally just felt like my whole life has just happened in a week and now I'm just like, and it really got me down um, a lot. I mean, obviously I'd still suffer from it. I, I've got actually medication for it now. Um, which I wish I didn't, but it's going to keep me happy and keep me smiling and that's just life and we, that's how we've got to deal with it. So. How are all three pregnancies different? Um, Freddie's was quite, I think it went quite quick. Freddie's was different because I was so young and I wasn't actually that excited. I was just more like, what am I doing? Sort of thing. Obviously she wasn't planned. I didn't have my family around me that much and I think there was just so much in my life going on at that time that I didn't actually take in the pregnancy whereas with Dexter I was older I knew kind of what to expect I was in a good place I have a home I have all my family around me um so it was a more like of an, a joyful time for me I felt excited like everything was just woo and it felt like it took forever for him to be born. I just felt like I was pregnant for ages. And then Pixie, because I had Dexter, was so much harder because running around after a terrible two year old, as you can imagine, when you're nine months pregnant, who wants to be picked up and cuddled and carried and wants to run around and get in little places that you have to drag him out of, was not great. Uh, it was hard work, but yeah, my pregnancies were all actually very different. Pixies was definitely the hardest though with Dexter. I would not advise being pregnant with a toddler because it was really hard work. But I'm pregnant and dreading birth. How bad is it? Um, I didn't think it was that bad. I mean, if you, as I said, if you're going natural birth, good luck to you. As I said earlier, water birth was my favorite, but no, I don't think it's bad. I think, it's over so quick I and mean, then you're actually, I know everyone says you'll forget about it and you think I ain't forgetting about it, but you do, you forget about it and it's just like, that's it. That few hours of pain and stress and crying and feeling sick and it's just like, you've just created another life. When I got nervous, like, um, like before having all of mine, I, I literally just thought, this baby is inside my belly. There's, it's got to get out of me somehow. Like there's no, there's no other way. It's got to come out. So just, don't stress about it, you've got a baby in your belly, it's got to come out. Uh, were you uh, worried about Alex treating Freddie differently to your children? No, not at all. I mean, Alex and his family, although Freddie does still see her dad and his family, Alex and his family have literally taken Freddie like, like she's theirs anyway. Like, Freddie has got such a big family and so much love around her that I've never ever worried once if Alex would treat Freddie any differently to how he treats Dexter and Pixie and he hasn't and I've never had to say like oh don't like never had to say like don't do that like well that's not really fair like he's just he's just amazing with all three kids and yeah I never have to worry about that so I am lucky but I, I get where the worry comes from because I've thought about it before but I've never actually had to had the worry of it happening so yeah did pregnancy change your relationship with Alex? Um, no, not really, I don't think. I mean, if it did, it would be in a positive way. I mean, we've become a lot more patient with each other, him definitely more with me. Um, yeah, I don't think it's really changed it like in like any negative way, if, if it has at all. I mean, we're still the same people and we still laugh at the same things and talk about the same things. It's just a little bit more stressful every now and then, but overall, I wouldn't say our relationship's changed very much at all. Um, did you breastfeed or bottle feed? I always get questions sent to me, why do you bottle feed? I bottle feed, yes, I do not breastfeed. And that is just for not much more than just personal preference, really. Um, nothing against breastfeeding. I've just bottle fed Freddie, Dexter and Pixie and they're all healthy children. I don't see anything wrong with bottle feeding. And actually, there is one thing that actually made me so annoyed after I had Pixie. You know, the midwife comes round like a day or two after and she came round and she was asking me all these questions and um, I was actually feeding Pixie with the bottle and uh, she was making notes, blah, 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 asking these questions. And then 
it was like literally like the day after my c-section so i wasn't really with it anyway but she was like and uh, you're artificially feeding then yes and i was just sort of like yeah and then just carried on or whatever and then it wasn't until the next day when i was actually making her bottle and i was sitting in the kitchen and i was literally like did that midwife yesterday call this artificially feeding and i thought what on earth is the world coming to artificially feeding that's like saying i had an artificial birth because i had a c-section like, i was so angry about it i was literally i cannot believe she called it that that is so rude um i don't think it's artificially feeding i think it's just feeding your baby with your personal preference you know i like to be able to see how much they're having what time they're having their milk because i like routine rather than this and that here and there do you know what i mean it's just my personal preference and i've never seen a problem with bottle feeding so I've just done it so yeah I do bottle feed and I am not ashamed of it um but yeah a little story for you there uh, okay I'm just gonna answer one more question now and that is what is the best part about being pregnant I did actually do a blog post on the best versus the worst parts of pregnancy and be honest i don't know what the best thing is because there's so many like good moments that are all like completely different but i think towards the end oh i don't know i kind of hated it but i kind of loved it towards the end when like say you're laying in the bath or something and you can literally see like elbows and knees and hands and feet like literally you can see the whole movement in your belly and i think that's probably my favorite part even though it was, at the time i'm like oh it makes me feel sick but then it is actually when you think back like that is literally amazing that a person was in your belly just like moving around obviously apart from meeting your baby uh that was my favorite part i think <laughs> but yeah i've answered most of the questions that were asked um as i said i'm sorry if i didn't answer your question but a lot of the questions were very similar so i hope i've sort of covered the main questions that were asked um so yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Give me a big thumbs up if you did. And if you'd like to see any more Q&As or with any of the family or, well, any videos really, let us know as always in the comments box down below. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.